Hey guys, it's Dan. Hope you're doing great. So yesterday I tried to answer a few requests I've received over the past couple of weeks to do a mile per gallon challenge between my 2017 Super Duty and my Ford Expedition, which is sitting right there. And uh, because ironically, in these past tests that I've done where I've, I've checked mileage, they've been very similar uh, you know, driving around 60, 65 miles per hour, but the request was to run at a higher speed, say 75 miles per hour, and see how they would do. So, um, as I got to start doing that yesterday, right as I'm entering the highway, my, my truck goes into a regen cycle. So, um, I didn't realize it until I was about six or seven miles down the road, but I was regening the whole time. So, I wanted to open up this video with that little disclaimer there because my commentary at the very beginning was about the challenge between the Super Duty and the Expedition when in reality what I was doing was a mile per gallon example video when your truck is in a regen for about 23 miles and so anyway um, so I wanted to open up this video with that little commentary just to explain to you what you're about to see and uh, so hang with me here just for a few minutes and I think you'll be interested in the results at the very end but uh, the truck is doing great and uh, performing well but this video covers an entire regen cycle where uh, regen all the way from 99% down to 10% on the particulate filter so hang tight here we go Hey guys, this is Dan with Adventuring Today. Hope you're doing great. Uh, we are doing another mile per gallon challenge. And so I just reset the uh, trip odometer here. Oh, actually, you know what? This uh, test is not gonna work. Uh, I am in a regen. I'm in a full-blown regen. So I didn't realize that until just a few minutes ago. Um, my diesel particulate filter uh, is down to 80% and it keeps going down. I have been in a regen ever since I started this test. So actually this will be really good. I'm going to make uh, this separate video on fuel mileage during a regen just on this truck. And then once this regen gets over, I'll re-record the comparison video between the Super Duty and the Expedition. Um, so this is uh, this is kind of interesting to see what this will get on the highway on this stretch uh, driving these speeds and um, because you know when you go into a regen a couple things that that, that tr you know that to indicate that your super duty is in a regen is number one you will notice a little bit of twitchiness with the gas pedal. Um, when you go on and off the gas pedal, especially on the highway, the engine is, uh, it just, there's a little bit of a, a, a jarring movement is probably the best way to describe it. And, um, and you also can pick up, it if you're, if you're highly in tune with your turbo boost gauge, you can pick up that you're in a regen because right now I'm slightly going uphill and I'm generating no boost. Typically, under normal driving conditions when I'm not in a regen I would be generating a little bit of boost in that situation so so why is that why is the engine not producing boost under light throttle well the way a diesel engine creates a, a regen cycle is it's dumping a ton of extra fuel into the motor to generate a lot of heat and, th and with that extra fuel that's coming into the motor that's typically not there under the same conditions, same throttle position and so forth. Um, you're getting all that extra heat, but you're also generating more power. And because of that, uh, you don't need as much boost. Now, if you really put your foot into it, say halfway down, of course, the boost is going to come on so the truck can accelerate under under normal conditions and, and under normal feeling to make everything predictable. But uh, the regen cycle starts by generating extra boost and um, or by generating more fuel into the, the cylinders, creating more heat and then burning off the particulate filter. So... Um, uh, so you don't need as much turbo boost. Now I'm accelerating and you can see that uh, I'm generating boost now as we are getting up to highway speeds once again. So uh, I'm going to keep my foot in it here. Uh, we're doing about 80. So I'm going to go back to 75 mile per hour uh, speed. And then if you look at the boost gauge, you know, when I'm on flat ground, I'm doing 75 miles per hour 
and the the turbo is producing very very little boost at all and uh, normally that that meter would be up uh, in within that bracket uh, right now under these conditions at this speed uh, it would be generating more boost so let's see what's happening with the instant fuel economy and what you'll find out is during a regen and this is the third indicator you're in a regen is that your miles per gallon really drop so um, you know we're down around maybe the 12 13 mile per gallon range right now um, and so in fact I can probably hit the the re uh, I'll reset this meter and then a couple seconds we'll get a, a little feel here for an instant mile per gallon rating uh, on the engine so um, now we're going slightly downhill so that's gonna pick up a little bit and uh, so during this regen so far since I started it we are averaging 11.8 miles per gallon uh, over this you know relatively flat space a little bit of downhill here we're you know mid 13s right so but that's the third indicator so the first one is a little bit of a jerkiness within the throttle response the second one is the behavior of your turbo gauge okay and that's the second one and the third one is your instant miles per gallon now through four scan I have turned on a feature on my Lariat which allows me to track how full the diesel particulate filter is and so this started at 99% uh, which is when the regen cycle starts and right now it's already down to 60% and so far I have driven a total of 13.9 miles on this uh, this exercise that we're on so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna shut up now we're gonna hit a few more of these hills and then I'll come back online once uh, we get down to the end of this test back where I started from and I will uh, report back to you on what the miles per gallon were during this uh, regen cycle test run which very happy this happened today I've been trying to capture one of these and ironically it was on the day I was gonna do a different test but I uh, I caught it real quick and uh, we'll see what happens so thanks again guys I'll be back in just a couple minutes Okay guys, I am uh, almost done with this test. We got a little bit over a mile to go. And um, I so the three, the three indicators that you're gonna regen are the little bit of the jerkiness of the, of the throttle. Number two is if you're in tune with what is going on with your turbo boost gauge, uh, you, can, you can pretty easily figure out that you're in a regen. And then number three, is of course your instant miles per gallon given the conditions that you're in that could be a third indicator um, I would say those three indicators um, are, are relatively easy to pick up on while you're driving the vehicle the fourth one is I would just call it impossible to pick up on if you're in a regen while you're driving it's impossible to pick up on but if you're parked it's easy to pick up on that you're in a regen and that will be the smell of what smells like burning metal um, it is uh, very distinctive it only happens if you're during a regen and so that one you may be able to pick up if you've got the windows down and you're at a stoplight or let's say you just got off the highway and you parked your car at the gas station parked your truck at the gas station you could pick up on it then uh, but that's the fourth one and typically you've got to be parked or driving really slow I would say to be able to pick up on that smell and that's just because the exhaust system is running you know probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 1100 1200 degrees 1100 1200 degrees and uh, that's where that uh, that you would pick that up so okay this is my exit um, speed limit right here is 60 miles per hour we are um, coming in to the exit ramp and um, and so let's see how we're doing here from a miles per gallon perspective so this um, this trip was about 22 miles so when I get down to the bottom of here bottom of the hill here we'll be close to 22 miles so I think that's a pretty decent test and if you look at our meter for our regen we are at 20 percent um, left on the filter so we have burnt off that filter down to nearly uh, zero and our miles per gallon are 12.2 so we've averaged 12.2 uh, over the course of about 
22 miles, and um, and the the truck has uh, performed really well, and it's been in a regen the whole entire time. So I'm gonna pull off here, and I've got to go park and pick up our RV. So I'm gonna probably kill this uh, regen cycle before it gets fully uh, empty, which is fine. The, the engines are designed to handle that. You don't have to drive your vehicle until you get down to zero. Uh, you just drive it normally like you would any other vehicle that you've probably ever owned in your entire life, and the engine will take care of itself. Uh, these, these Super Duty Power Stroke diesels, along with really the diesel motors from from uh, Dodge and, and GM are also highly sophisticated. But, uh, you know, I'm partial to Fords. I, I love Fords and I've always had really good luck with them. But the, uh, so I'll, I'll, I will kill this regen cycle, you know, before it's completely done. And as it gets full again, it will just uh, go through its normal paces and uh, regen as it needs to. So anyway, hopefully that little experiment there helped folks out who were just wondering what maybe highway miles per gallons were uh, while you're in a regen. Uh, that's 22 miles of, of regen. Probably if I drove another five or 10 miles on the highway, I would have been completely through that cycle and uh, would have gone down to, I've seen it go all the way down to 0%. I, typically it's going down between five, 10, maybe 15% and then it stops. But um, anyway, that uh, was hopefully helpful for you folks. If you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I got lots of videos like this coming out on Super Duties, uh, on our Ford Expedition, on our adventures camping and so forth, doing campground reviews and everything else. So appreciate everybody being here today and uh, take care and be safe out there. Thanks a lot. Bye.